怎么样？这个 c h i p Pro 的感觉怎么样？好嘞。<笑>哎、你会发 B 站吗？这个视频？应该我可能会用到这个素材。你可以艾特我吗？啊，可以啊，没问题啊。OK， 你觉得这气泡 Pro 怎么样？这个东西啊，嗯、爱不释手，爱不释手，四个字的评价，爱不释手。这个东西好看，电量电量又够用。我不得不说一点，它的优点就是它的吸阻是调试的特别舒服的，就你很喜欢，根本不用其他的动作啊，你去调它的这个吸阻，它吸阻非常非常像真烟的口感，又可以重新注油，嗯，简直没得挑剔。Hi, I'm Ibe Lao Xu. Today, let's talk about AirPods Pro. First, I have to admit, I like AirPods One. In previous review video of L screen, I said I like this simple design concept. The hard straight cutting edge and the unifying of the pops and the body makes it more like a piece of beautiful artwork. The perfect image of using pops one should be like a handsome guy with a smart suit standing in a wide open place, and there have to be skyscrapers in the background. His left hand have to keep into his pocket. Right hand holds pops one and slowly rise up. Head turning, eyes on void far distance. Slowly inhale and slowly breathe out. Then eyes to camera. A sigh with deep low voice comes. Some men are made of stuff. Okay, stop joking. The success of Alpops is not only by its nice design, but also because its premium flavor is so nice. Its Virginia tobacco to me is the best tobacco flavor I have ever tried. If only they produce the bottle version, and for Pops One, they also provide refillable pods to adapt their three one three series nickel sauce juice or not the juice you like, and these make Pops cost effective. The L Pops have the version of one three and seven. I don't like seven very much for its appearance shows a little big and fat. To me, that breaks the feeling of elegant and smart. When you put the pods into seven, the small pods with a big body makes it looks out of the tune. But seven has big battery capacity, which is seven hundred ma. It's totally three hundred eighty more than pops one, so it still has its own advantage. All right, after this long way paving, let's get into today's topic: the AirPods Pro. When watching the official trailer, we can see that. They put the Pops Pro together with a vivid-like background. The device slowly drop down and glide on the wireless surface. These make Pops Pro looks high class immediately, which indicates its touch and feeling should be as smooth as silk, and the color should as white as gold stone. During the IECIE, L Scream gives me a review sample in the first day of the exhibition. The first time when I hold it. I understand why they shoot the trailer like that way. I told you that I like Pops One's hard, straight cutting edge. Now on Pops Pro, that edge has been instead by a nice round curve. We hold it; it feels more round and smooth, low cutting feeling when you clench your hand with the device. The shape of the Pops Pro is close to Pops Seven, but it's more slim than Seven. And the most important difference. Of the appearance are not the round edge or the color, but the pods which adapt to this device have a nice bottom curve that perfectly suits the device, make the whole combination more united as one piece. So actually, I take Pops Pro as a redesigned Pops Seven, for they have similar body shape, same logo at a nice position, same bottom position. Same Type C charging port at the same side place. The port is still side filling, sitting with a small rubber plug. Same auto deactivating after 30 minutes idle, which they call it charge lock function. And the same constant output. Even the battery capacity are same, 700 mAh. The difference are the previous prefill port and refillable port for Pops One, Three, and Seven can't adapt to Pops Pro. Black pod plus the white body and plus the black bottom makes the whole appearance more vivid. Coil now become a plug-in type, not fixed into the pod like before. Match coil instead of winding coil. And at the lower position of the side, they have a three lines to indicate you the remaining battery. Now let me talk about the use experience. 
I started using Pops Pro from the first day of the IECIA exhibition. The juice feel inside is their own 313 series. I have to say that within their own juice, the user experience is quite good. For not only honey grapefruit, I'm also used leche berries. They all taste good. For the first one, the sweet of honey and the little sour feeling of the grapefruit express clearly. For leche berry, the rich leche flavor full of your mouth and when you breathe out, a hint of berry taste is quite delightful. It's 14 mg, much stronger than the honey grapefruit. Two times vape can fulfill my needs. Then I tried my own Halo Tiki Tobacco 15mg and Elf Factory Menthol 36mg. Tenbuck flavor has been weakened a little bit if compared with G2, but the nicotine impact is same. Through the Elf Factory's Menthol doesn't have too much cool feeling, but on Pops Pro, that feeling becomes a small hint. The throat and lung heat are not affected. With 1.0 ohm coil, the vapor is quite rich. The fixed airflow gives you a tight inhale resistance. This feels very close to the traditional cigarette. I like it. Rarely tasted condensation, and this is good. Flavor expression is okay compared with my G2, which I use in the same time. But I found that the vapor density is not as good as G2, even through Pops Pro using 1.0 coil, which theoretically should generate more vapor than G2. I think that's probably because G2's coil and output watt is bigger than Pops Pro. 700 mAh battery with 1.0 coil, a whole day vaping time is guaranteed, if only you are using high strength nicotine sauce. And there are also disadvantage of Pops Pro. First, the edge of sealing rubber plug is too thin. If you drag too fast, the plug may torn apart, and that will make you hard to open the plug again. Second, the sealing of the part is not as good as others. For me and Zhang Tiejiang, we found sometimes when we pull the parts out to check the remaining juice, they are wet around the parts. Finally, I found that when you close that rub plug, you have to double check whether it's sitting properly. Otherwise, it may cause a little seepage. 3. Coil lifespan is not very long. According to my own experience and the data I collected from Zhang Tiejiang and Lao Sun, we found that the flavor will fade away after you finish about 4 parts. In another ways, it means after you consume about 8 ml juice, the taste will not as good as the beginning. For most of the part system, the coil average lifespan of the best tasting is around 4 parts. The fourth, no juice check window. So you need to check the part frequently to avoid burning the coil when the juice dries out. And the old issue is about the child lock system. Sometimes when you pick up the device, try to vape, you will find it has been deactivated for 30 minutes idle. You need to press the button 5 times to reactivate it again. Well, I know it's designed for protecting the keys from accidentally use it when you forget to keep it aside. But still, it's a little bit annoying when it's happened. Frankly, I like this device. At their exhibition booth, they helped me to cut my name on my Pops Pro with a laser carving machine. Pops Pro may not be a best MTVL device, but as I said before, there is no such perfect vape device at all. It looks beautiful, elegant, small and smart. When you hold it, round alloy body makes you feel handy and comfortable. Its vape experience is good with its own 313 series juice. With others, it also has a qualified performance. Anyway, the people who like Pops Pro focus on its advantage. Yes, I'm talking about myself. So, what about you? Alright, that's all I want to share to you about Airscreen Pops Pro. If you are using Pops Pro right now, I hope you can leave your use experience as a comment below. This can be a supplementary to my review and will help other people who just need that info. Okay, I'm Yibai Lao Xu. Thanks for watching my L Pops Pro review video. If my information helps you, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for my men and fans, remember to dianbi, tozan, or share this video to your moments. All right, I love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Whoa. <laughs>
I like shopping. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, 好有范儿，操，大呆了，我操。